Wouldn't say I've been missing it, Bob. Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Zareth Prevails. Guys, the executor has been pronounced deficient. CG thinks that it's not performing well, it has performance issues, people are wailing and gnashing their teeth. You can hear the lamentations of their women if you listen closely from all corners of the entire galaxy. Of which, of course, we're just in one tiny little part of the galaxy that isn't even part of the canon of Star Wars. But people are still really pissed off. And for various reasons, something, some people, everyone's got their expectations when there's a new character that's released, right? Especially a new good character that's supposed to be, we have a high investment level. And so some people think, man, it's going to be OP. It's go It should be OP for how much I'm investing. It should never be beat by anything else. Free to play people who can't get it as early or people who are play to win who can't get it early because they don't know what they're doing or don't have all the materials to fully upgrade their ship. <laughs> um, they, you know, they may feel like, well, I want, we want something else to be able to, they, they, they view it with trepidation. They don't want to, they don't have to deal with an overpowered ship. And one way or another, I do think that, uh, you know, people are like rolling their eyes. They're like, oh my gosh, CG, like you, you have to test your stuff. And uh, I mean, I think they do testing. I think that it's impossible to test at the same level that the community is has available like immediately just because of the man hours and whatever we could argue that forever and i don't want i'm not i'm not here to make excuses for them i do i do think that it can be a little bit tricky so uh, let's look at what they have to say though so uh, they say they've been keeping a close eye on executors since yesterday's release it does not appear to be performing at the level we intended, etc. So, you know, they're going to keep an eye on it. This is pretty standard for them. They've, they're letting us know in advance, which I appreciate, instead of just some random, like, nerf. They're like, oh, hey, Home One, you used to be good. <laughs> pretend now, pretend that you're the Endurance. Yeah, okay, good. So, just, we'll just leave you there. Like, I, I'm glad that they're they're giving us some warning that something's gonna happen, but I don't think that it's it's performance against other fleets. I think it just destroys everything. There there's like the rebel fleet that has this, it, if everything's relic eight, then they can consistently ish beat executor. I don't I don't think CG cares about that. I think that they're just like oh well cool like cool you've invested a ton in a rebel fleet that is slowly getting pushed out of the meta that's wonderful we want you to be putting relic 8 on characters like biston and scarif rebel pathfinder like you can hear like the hilarity like the held back mirth of the cg executives like that's epic you're you're probably spending money on this rebel fleet uh, to be able to like keep it relevant still and so relic 8 like yeah yeah go ahead keep doing it i i think I think CG's happy about that. They're fine with it anyways. And it's such a small sample size. I'm, there's very few people who have the full Relic 8 Rebel Fleet to be able to counter a Relic or a 7 star Executor. And so I I think there, there's a different issue here though, folks. I do think that there's, there's an underlying issue. Obviously they aren't happy with the performance and I think it ties into their testing and everything. So let's, uh, let's actually go to the gameplay thing here. The gameplay thing, that's totally, totally a uh, good description. Let's, let's go look at the game itself though for more clues. All right, we're here at the hollow tables where Azza has increased Hunter's gear to gear 13. Finally, Azza, I'm glad you finally got off your Azza and did that. No, I don't actually know him that well or her. See, I don't even know well know them well enough, but I had to be able to make that kind of assertion. So here, here's the thing, folks. So I don't think that they care about about the the executor losing to these characters what i do think uh, or, or like to maxed out fleets what i do think they care about is losing uh, they, they care about losing to like some pretty weak stuff but there's so far there's nothing that's been super consistent people have been running this uh, like what btl with y-wing or <laughs> btl with 
with Rex and stuff and be able to beat it. But I think that that gap closes quite a bit once we finally start putting more relics on our bounty hunters. Instead of quote unquote just relic 5 and 6 or 5A mods, once we get to 6E mods and get more relics like relic 7, relic 8 on our fleet, I think that that gap is going to start closing. And so, so I, I, the real issue here, folks, and I'll show you when we get into it. So I'm going to, it, unfortunately, we don't have a five star that I can go against, but the problem here is not seven star fleets. It is when people get a five star executor. So, okay, let's look at, let's look at my executor speed real quick so we're seven stars piet has most of his mods at 6e so he's at 191 speed i could maybe squeeze one more speed out of him i'm, I'm not sure uh 191 and, and then if you look at this five star executor here five star executor is actually annoyingly uh better not not in the way you would think so <clears throat> we were at 191 we are 179 here so 12 speed slower and what happens here in, in this interaction is in the mirror match we have issues so let's let's actually just get into the fight i mean this is against a seven star to be clear i can't reach the five star guy and show you but five stars are starting to beat the seven stars consistently because of the way turn order goes and it's frustrating it, it is actually quite frustrating that they're that it's going the way it is so their executor goes because it's so fast and then houndstooth goes because their executor just went and hit my guys so he's he gained turn meter so cool we're, we gain we're gonna go now and then our executor goes now our options here and you see that their ai used their basic especially that basic is is ludicrous against other like we're kind of lucky to go second here actually because it, to get our alt it's a race you can already see we were at 19 instead of 20 on the cooldown for that for that thing because we got breach and that's because we were able to take turns and it's a in this matchup it's a race to see who can get breach the first uh, the most breaches fastest i should say to get that ultimate destroy the enemy executor and then and then you win that that's the win condition and so you would think that like a five star would be he's slower so it's less reactive but what happens is the only good thing especially on defense the defense uh they just use the basic because the other two don't hit their uh, like criteria for anything so the, these abilities can do some things for your fleet but not not as much so all bounty hunters gain potency up for a turn that, that's cool i will admit that that's pretty neat but otherwise dispel outmaneuver and stealth from all enemies which can be helpful and dispel all debuffs from bounty hunter allies i don't have any debuffs because i haven't had a, my opponent hasn't had any turns and then someone he gains health and protection all this healing reusable in five turns so we want to use this sparingly we don't want to use this right away on just some potency up when we already have decent potency going on anyways because everyone's at what like plus 30 potency or plus something potency anyways um and then so the other one is if your enemies breached then everyone or target or target locked yeah breached or target locked it calls out bounty hunter allies to assist and so in the mirror match especially guys they their their guys haven't gone yet our executive executor goes first in that situation and so it's like okay no one's breached so we're not going to call the assist we're not going to put potency up on people or dispel stealth that doesn't exist yet, really, in, an, in any meaningful way. What we're going to do is use a basic, and that's it. That, that's what we can do. And then the other team, who after you have like a little skirmish and all the other teams, all the other ships go here. Let's just put it on auto. I, I have no stake in this. If we win or lose, uh, we'll just have something going on in the background. But... What happens is this this weird little mirror match of like they get to move way sooner than us and in more significant meaningful ways, uh, so a five star actually gets their breach faster uh, than or rather their ultimate faster than we do than, than seven star does and that that harkens back to something that CG has always tried uh, they've always always valued and I appreciate this that. They don't, they don't want to devalue that when people have gear, uh, when they place gear on characters, because 
what, what ends up happening. Like, you have that paper zombie thing where people are putting, like, gear 5 on zombie or something, and they just super ramp up their Nice Sisters team, and you'd... And it turned out, turns out, like, you'd rather have... <laughs> you'd rather have a bad zombie than a good one. Like, you're, it, you're rewarded for less gear. And same thing here, like... In the mirror match, you want a 5-star executor, because the only thing that really matters, the other abilities are fine, but the thing that really matters is getting that ultimate off first, because if you don't get that ultimate off first, you're screwed. You, you can't beat anyone, and so that's, that's what's going on here, is I think that they are looking at the interaction between 5-star and 7-star, because who, who would have thought, like, of course you think 7-star is going to beat a 5-star. Of course that's what you think. Look at that. <laughs> Our poor executor just getting wrecked here, just totally smashed, but uh, that's okay. I don't really have any loyalty to my bounty hunters anyways. Um, I was like one trying to make a game of it though. We don't need commentary from Zareth on this fight though. What, what, I'm trying to, what I'm trying to discuss here though, folks, is I do think that, I do think that we're, we're in a strange situation of like, they don't want a five-star executor to be better than a seven-star. And maybe they even planned it so that our first turn is kind of insignificant compared to other capital ships. Like, I could see that being part of their plan, frankly. I, I could totally see that being part of their plan. But look at that, they beat us at the last second instead of timing us out. That's funny. Um, But I think, I think that that's what's happening, is five stars beating seven stars they don't want that in the mirror match and it totally makes sense that they wouldn't test it so anyways folks i think i i think this is much ado much to do about nothing on some levels a lot of people are concerned about other fleets beating it or not beating it or whatever i think that we're gonna find some solutions to executor but i also think that in the meantime we should just expect them to find something so, so that the mirror match isn't so egregiously bad in favor of a lower star value. So, <clears throat> excuse me. That being said, folks, I'm going to let you go. Hopefully, uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Maybe I missed something huge. Let me know. I'll pin it if it is something huge that I can verify. I'm not... I mean, maybe, I, maybe I don't have all the information, but that's, that's what I'm thinking so far. Uh, so, please, guys, uh, just a reminder please hit that like button or sub or leave a comment or all three it's been huge you guys have been helping mount the algorithm get on the algorithm guys it's been super helpful so thank you all so much for watching and for helping with the algorithm and remember that in all things Zareth prevails and he'd prevail way more if he had a five-star executor instead of seven apparently all right guys see ya